गोविंदम परमानंदम सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यहम जंतूना नर जन्म दुर्लभम तो पुंस्व तथो विप्रता आपके मोबाइल में है क्यों सब खोले बिगर बैठे हो जंतू नाम नर जन्म दुर्लभ मत पुंस्व तथो विप्रता तस्मादर्म मग परता विद्वस्मात्म आत्मात्म विवेचन आत्मात्म विवेचन स्वनुभव ब्रह्मात्मना संस्थिति मुक्तिर्नोशत कोटि जन्म सुकृत पुण्यना लभ्य दुर्लभम त्रयमेवत दैवानुग्रह हेतुक मनुष्य मुमुक्षु महापुरुष संश्रय लास्ट टाइम वी वेर सींग दिस मंत्र आई मीन दिस श्लोक हाउ रेर इट इज टू हैव अ टीचर who can teach shastra and the rarity begins with durlabham trayam these three things are rare first he says manushyatvam see the varieties of jivas even if you don't believe in hindu dharma or you don't know you can look around and find the number of species it is endless our shastra says there are 84 lakhs of species and that to be born on mother earth which is again rare because it, and that too as a human being why it is rare because there are four types of births andaja swedaja udbija jarayuja one who are born from the eggs one who are born from the sveda means perspiration etc and udbija those who come out of the land mother earth trees are also jivas so to be born as a trees number of trees how many trees are there how many andajas are there? and last is jarayuja mean those who are born out of womb it is endless उद्भिजाज आर एंडलेस अंडरजाज आर एंडलेस जराय आई मीन स्वेद जाज आर एंडलेस एंड जरायुजाज आर ऑल्सो एंडलेस सम ऑफ द एनिमल्स आर फ्रॉम द होम्स एंड दैट इट रिक्वायर्स अ पिक्यूलियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पुण्य पापा एवरी बॉडी इज मैन टू एग्जॉस्ट सम पुण्यज एंड सम पापास पशु इत्यादि इन दोज योनिज इट इज प्रिडोमिनेंटली पापा एग्जॉस्ट बाय एंड लार्ज इट्स पापा सम सुखम इज देयर सेटिस्फाइंग बायोलॉजिकल अर्जीज एंड ईटिंग एंड रेस्टिंग लिटिल बिट वेर एज इन देव योनिज देर इज ओन लॉर्ड ऑफ सुखाज ऑल द वे इट रिक्वायर्स अ पिक्यूलियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ संचित कर्मा एंड एज वी एक्सेप्ट दिस क्रिएशन इज अनादि Since beginningless time, 
So when you do puja, they have a sankalpa. Svetavaraha kalpate kalpe vaivasman vantare ityati, they say. So this manvantara is vaivasvata and this kalpa is a shvetavaraha. So many kalpas, so many manvantaras that are there within a day of Brahmaji. <laughs> One day, morning till evening, you come across so many like this. And among that, you and I must have had been born in all these species in the past. And equally must have been born as a human being. <laughs> but then, <laughs> you see, this, this human being is rare because there is a free will. There is a buddhi shakti. And since there is a buddhi which has a free will, you have a choice for dharma and you have a choice for moksha. And you have a capacity to understand the knowledge which gives you moksha. That is not there in all these yonis. They are only bhog yonis. Like tigers and lions and crows and cuckoos and all of them. They only exhaust. Neither they incur new punyas nor they incur new papas. Like carnivorous animals should be incurring all papas. And herbivorous animals like cows and goats who provide living to human beings, they must be creating a lot of punyas, especially our cows whose milk goes to Shivalinga every day morning for Abhishekam. Cow doesn't boast this Someshwara gets Abhishekam from me. And there is nothing. <laughs> you just put it at a proper time, put a calf near it, it just milks. That's it. It is mechanical. They have no doership in it. So, to be born as a jiva in a yoni where you have a sense of doership, it is rare. So, this is yoni is called karma bhoga yoni. You can perform karmas and you can, means you have kartrutvam as well as bhoktrutvam. Manushya Janma is a karma bhoi yoni where both is possible, whereas in other yonis are only bhoga yonis. Therefore, it's rare. It's only in this birth you can incur new punyas and new papas. More than that, see, jantu nam narajanma durlabham, you have to add, you are born to a Muslim family. Or you are born to a Christian family. A Muslim family, jihad and the fellow will be conditioned. And keeps on doing papam. As I have told earlier in the first sloka, except Vedic dharma, sanatan dharma, they don't have a concept of dharma and moksha purusha. It is almost, you can say, kama purushartha centric religions. You believers will go to heaven. And heaven is what? Just kamas. Better kamas. <laughs> I mean, good quality of kamas. It is like eating biscuits in, in a remote village in India and having good <laughs> biscuits in USA. But after all, you are eating biscuits only. There is nothing there. So they have better kamas. And this the Hurra fellows, you should see that videos. They describe that Hurras, you know. It's only better karma, but basically same thinking, you know. It is, it is, it is very gross thinking that you want gross pleasures. So to be born as a human being, he's in a Hindu family. And that too in India, I have to add. Fellow is born in Kazakhstan. I know Hindus are there. Fellow is born in some West Indies, Hindu families. They have, but this religion is very limited. I, I was shocked to see that in Trinidad, I saw temples open on weekend only. If you want to say that, there is nobody available on working days. So Bhagavan is also... This weekend, weekend darshan, you know, not our Sunday to Sunday, our weekend to weekend. 
or to be born in a place where, the, like some European countries, parents have settled and you are born there. It's very rare to be born as a Hindu in India and as I said, that too in Gujarat and some other states, not in Bihar and Bengal, you know, <laughs> etc. <laughs> the way they are saying. So it is a rare combination that it's a the rarest thing that one has a human body. Then he says, Durlabham Travaye Maitat. These three things are rare to be born as a Manushya. And secondly, Manushyatvam Mumukshutva. The bhava of being a Mumukshu. Mumukshu means what? Moktu Michu. The person who has a desire for moksha. See, these two purusharthas, artha kama, doesn't require any education. You know, mother doesn't, need not tell, can play with the dolls and toys to be happy. Think of perfumes and cosmetics to be happy. Think of cars and some more good mobile to be happy. So, or even they don't have to tell, okay, please desire this. <laughs> no. Desire for pleasures for, from the outside world is natural. Desire for security from the outside world is natural. The purpose of education is to implant and inculcate and strengthen commitment, desire to dharma. The whole shiksha, our Gurukul Paddhati was cut out to make a student aware about what is proper, what is improper, what is dharma, what is adharma, which is dharma siddha sadhya and which is adharma siddha sadhya. The end which is dharmic, and which is adharmic, and the means which are dharmic, and the means which are adharmic. And that means to, to, to inculcate that samskara about the duties. Dharma, implanting dharma means giving knowledge about one's own duties. Samanya dharma and vishesha means ethical values and varanasham kartavyas. All that has to be taught by a teacher and implant or show him with his own behavior and education that I should, I would, that the student feels that I am ready to commit to dharma. Commit to kartavya. Now, when a person lives that life of kartavya nishtha, means when he or she wins Mahabharatas, number of Mahabharatas, it is always here, Mahabharata. Outside was, there is a history, but my fancies, my, the things that attract me, things that give me kick, Things that promises some pleasure and fun always are something which I want. And duty is something in the beginning. It doesn't create a sense of pleasure, sense of joy. So there is a Duryodhana thinking. I want to be happy in my way. And there is Yudhishthira thinking that you have to be happy, not in your way, but you have to make others happy by fulfilling duty and then be happy. So that Mahabharata goes on for a number of years. Dharma. Another thing, to be dharmikaha in this sense is also durlabha. People confuse religious life as a dharmic life. They have some prayers, they have some pujas, they have some forms, 
about a god specific god or specific sampradaya they believe in it and they think we are dharmika no you may or may not be but important to be dharmika is strong commitment to duty like a fire in the belly that no compromise in fulfilling my duties both my dharma samanya dharma and vishesha dharma that is a dharmika you know most of them are arthakamis and among them more of most of them are arthakamis for ihaloka here and now who has seen the future who has seen heaven who has seen hell that's what they talk charvaka thinking yava jivet sukham jivet runam krutva pizzam japtet pepsi bibet <laughs> that is a thinking even if runam is not done at least i want to enjoy here here itself then some of them wants to be happier there some here after some punya karmas and very rare of them turn to some religious forms they think we are dharmika in modern days go to some swami have some mala bala diksha viksha and have some puja daily i will do my puja some bhagwan is there and they have given some form that is okay you can be that kind of dharmika huh? but what we mean by dharmika here is commitment to my duties when you commit to duty you develop mastery over yourself you develop some space within why there is a space the mind in the beginning is crowded flooded with likes and dislikes and fancies and desires sometimes they are so strong that they create a pressure here and that pressure turns into karma so the fellow runs after artha kamas or something but or value whatever he or she has it now day in and day out you you use you surrender your free will and you choose your duty it means to that extent inch by inch no millimeter by millimeter you start to develop a control over your own mind mastery over your own mind slowly raga dveshas become subservient and when they become subservient and not that strong there is some space here there is a space to think about the fundamental problems of life there is a space to be sensitive about others there is a space to 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 be compassionate there is a space to be empathetic that life of dharma makes person little empathetic little sensitive little giving etc so when this to no doubt religious life is necessary that so called forms and pujas thereby you on the grace of ishvara by ishvara's grace these likes and dislikes are loosened and also some upasana is necessary when you do upasana daily in your life you learn to discipline by your mind and when you live a life of dharma with an attitude of ishvara arpana bhakti i am doing my duty is an offering to ishvara the third chapter yagnarthat karmano anyatra loko yam karma bandhana tadartham karma kaunteya mukta sanga samachar the attitude of surrender to ishvara this is my duty i am placed at this particular place this is my position in a scheme of things in terms of i am someone's brother and someone's sister or wife or husband or niece or nephew or whatever you are there as a citizen also this is how i am i am placed in india so i am indian citizen i belong to this particular state i belong to this particular city so 
with that position, I belong to this Varna, I belong to this lineage, etc. Whatever is expected out of me, I commit to do. I do it, and I say I do it as a duty means I have to do, therefore I am doing. And later on, you discover a love for duty. I want to do it, and therefore I am doing full stop. Why I'm telling this? There are people who commit to life of dharma, I know, very much devoted to family, to society, to culture, to ethics, values. But after some years, if you meet them, they are always complaining. There is so much of hurt, so much of bruises inside, you know. Swamiji, <clears throat> this world is not worth living. <laughs> People are very selfish. And this fellow is like this, and government is like this, and nobody like that, blah, 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 blah. And then they become so hurt, some of them turn off. I don't want to do any kind of things for my family. I've done enough. Or they don't deserve it. <laughs> That's how they say. And so much so, they say even a country doesn't deserve. You are supposed to pay the tax. That is your dharma. The fellow lived a life of ethics all throughout the life. But honestly, lived with honesty, but he became dishonest after some time because Country doesn't deserve taxes. They are eating away the money. <laughs> Therefore, I don't. whether they eat or not, I have to do it full stop. Exactly like putting a money in the hundi of a temple. When you go to a temple, when you put some money in donation box, you don't ask for the CV or you don't go to LinkedIn to find out how is this priest, what is his background, who are the trustees? How are they doing? Show me last year's balance sheet. Where did you all spend it? How come did this area of food requires so much of money? You don't get it. I want to give as my duty because I should not go empty hand. I give it. If that person misuses, he or she will pay through her nose. <laughs> that account will be settled by Bhagawan. But I will get my punya. Bhagavan will give me punya, like banks. Suppose a clerk commits a fraud and takes some money out of your account, transfer to someone else. You don't bother. Bank is you, you deposited money not looking at the credentials of the clerk. You looked at the bank and the bank will give you the credit, full stop. So Bhagavan will give me the credit. Whatever punya I, I earned because of fulfilling my duty, it will be there. Why should I get into those details? So one should enjoy doing the duties. In the beginning, there is a pressure to do. You know? Then, very much pressure. There is a conflict to do. Then, then you, because you are instinctual, then you become a deliberate person. Slowly you do it deliberate, do it deliberate. <laughs> exactly like those fellows who started fasting. All throughout the life never did any fasting. At the age of 30, 40, they started. Suppose they want to do Ekadashi or every. Monday or Tuesday, then when they start, first among within a month, four or five Sundays or Mondays, hardly one he could do it because other days he was passing by the fridge, dabak, something went in. <laughs> Others are eating, dabak, something went in. Error by error took the breakfast. Now he can't survive with the breakfast. When fellow has four meals a day, <laughs> how can he survive? Breakfast is forgiven, I'll take the lunch. <laughs> That's all. Then they have a lot of paral in the evening. After some time, they become deliberate. They remember, yes, I have not to eat. Then it becomes spontaneous. 
and he enjoys. In the beginning, fellow keeps talking about his fasting next day. Yesterday I had a fasting. Give me good breakfast. That it. I mean, he starts that from today. You see, he tells his wife today evening I have not eaten. Okay, so I have done fasting. So tomorrow make this particular breakfast. With <laughs> before the fast is over, he is planning to eat. So later on, you just enjoy your fasting. There is no complaint about going hungry. Then people ask. Hey, don't you feel hungry? How do you manage? I'm enjoying. I'm feeling fresh. Similarly, one should enjoy performing dharma. And it should become effortless, spontaneous. I just do it. And I enjoy. I want to give, I give it. I want to help, I help it. And that person doesn't do his duty, I don't care. People are hurt because they kept on performing their duty by even sometimes getting going extra miles, doing extra favors, unwarranted duties they did it. The other person doesn't do his or her own duty. Duties are mutual. My duty towards this person is he is right and his duty, I, my right it is his duty, his or her. But when they don't perform, these guys are hurt and therefore they don't want to do anything. No. I just they do it. Whether he does his duty or not, I don't care. This is what I have to do. I do it. When one has lived such lives, committed to duty, committed to Dharma Purusha. Dharma Purusha Artha is not confined to just going Haveli daily, doing Mangala Arti daily, or doing this Puja daily, doing this Mala daily or going for this Ekadashi, every Ekadashi I do Darshan, or every Navaratri I do so much of Japa. No. Every day. When that, you have lived such a life, then as I said, there is a space here. What space? To look at myself. Hey, what am I doing? What did I get? And what is the benefit? Like, this is a typical business in those days. These provision store fellows used to do business. Sell small, small items and then whatever money they need, they take it from the cash counter and run the house and save the money. They don't do detailing. Okay, what? How much profit did I make? What is that item? Like data analytics, if I put it in the modern jargon. You, you don't do data analytics of yourself. Why did I get it? That space makes you see dharma life, creating a space. It creates inner leisure to look at myself. That gives you that wisdom. Hey, all this I achieved so far has not given me complete contentment, which I have been wanting. It has never given me total freedom, which I have been wanting. It somehow hasn't given me total happiness, which I have been wanting all these years. Every pursuit is to feel content and satisfied. As they say in Hindi, bas fir nirada, fir shanti, and it never comes. Shanti means I am satisfied with myself. That sense of self-contentment, sense of self-satisfaction never came. Means what? If what I want and what I do has no connection. To discover that fact. What I achieved and what I wanted to achieve so far has no connection. When that thing clicks, then the fellow wants to pursue something other than dharma arthaka. That is called mokshetsa. If you are born in this tradition, Hindu tradition and in certain good families with the connections, etc., then I want moksha. That desire comes. 
देर इज अ ऊपर रहती नेचुरल विदड्रॉवल लिटिल और लिटिल कंटेनमेंट विथ वॉट यू हैव बीन परसुइंग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली इन द पास्ट very vehemently he was pursuing money and power and all that now he will enough is enough so that is called mumukshutva desire not to pursue what all i pursued so far and to pursue something which is unknown to me i don't know where will i get moksha what is moksha also is not clear the fellow at least born in this tradition knows he have to go to a swami for moksha you know when that is mumukshutvam in the beginning there is just inquisitiveness curiosity mm-hmm. moksha but that inquisitiveness is not mumuksha casual inquiry yeah chalo time dekh acha they say it's a great book gita let's listen what is gita that's all they are interested no mumukshutva means there is a commitment exclusively i want so mumukshutva means this mokshetsha is not one of the desires it is the desire for me that state of mind is called mumukshutva it calls for lot of thinking within lot of analytics within about one's own pursuits one's own achievements one's own goals one's own ideals all that has to be redone it you have to refresh your life values or reboot as they say you have to reboot your life what you thought as a success is no more a success what you thought as a meaningful life is no more meaningful to me what you thought as ultimate goal is no more an ultimate goal that state of mind is mumukshutva in other words purusharta nishchaya the clear clarity about the goal of life and i want to commit to only that god you know as i said last time formally when you are late and you are in a big queue at the airport for security you have you have checked in the luggage and you go for security and then suddenly you are some 20 30 th number the airline staff comes and shout jet line air, jet airways ahmedabad jet airways ahmedabad or whatever city then the people raise hand then you are taken out of the queue in the first and you are pushed to the flight that is mokshech formally there are 25 things i want to do and 26th was mokshech ah uh, i go to satsang sometimes i like to listen gita <laughs> i like to but priority is money priority is business priority is socializing priority is power little power whatever and then moksha itcha which is the last one is <laughs> that means when i am free i go when i am convenient i come <laughs> it is like our sauras people you know in the beginning some people used to come to meet me so they from the gate they will tell me those days were intercoms you know so office person will say acharya etc like swami ji so and so has come and he wants to meet you i said okay then i meet him he would say take me half an hour then in the conversation they kept say i said yeah i was just passing by and i had a desire to see you i have not met you for a long time i thought aaj mil lete that means swami is available sitting like a bench any time you can go and sit so to meet swami ji is no more a priority i have a they say i had to come to university 
and they told vice chancellor will come after one hour. So what to do? So I came to you to take your one hour. That's all. He is not interested in satsanga. He is not interested in my knowledge. I am just a time pass for him. <laughs> so that is not a priority. Purushartha Nisha, I mean, this is the thing I have to do. People have top priority for samsara. They have all kinds of justification, all kinds of excuses not to attend Shibit, not to attend classes. And they have all advices for me. If I tell them, come at 6.30 class, Swamiji, you should keep class at 8, you know, then we can come. People like me who are working cannot come. Okay, let's have it 8. After two classes, I come and say, Swamiji, it should be 9, I think. Because we come from office straight to the class, so we should go home and eat. Okay, 9. I think Swamiji, it's 9.30 would be better because it becomes too tight, you know. We go home and eat and run and come. Okay, 9.30. Swamiji, it's bedtime. It's too sleepy. Excuse me. <laughs> they all advise me. It's not a right time to study Vedanta. You know, it is high level. And it calls for little alertness. And I, because of business, and I feel tired. Blah, 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 blah. So... I, I have a new example. What is Mumukshutpam? Is social media addictionpam. <laughs> People who are addicted to social media, whether sick or not, they have early morning flight or not, they will look at WhatsApp, they will look at it, Facebook, they will, this is the priority. We'll never miss it. That state of mind for moksha is moksha. I would never miss my goal, you know, commitment to moksha. And then what? Mahapurusha samshaya. Who is Mahapurusha? That Mahandam Atmanam Janati Samahapurusha. One who knows that Mahan Atma, Mahantam Vibhum Atmanam Matva Dhiro Na Shoshat, who is Shoka Tita. I mean, in, a, in a other known words, one who is a Shrotriya Brahmanishta Achari. Now, how do you know? You can make out that this professor is good at physics because he has a degree, doctorate in physics. He has given so many papers. He has submitted in international conference. His paper also appeared in Science Journal. And he has guided some seven, eight PhD students. They are well-placed on this same topic. Then you can go. Because he has a PhD degree. Now you cannot say, Vedanta, Charya, gold medalist. So I go to him. It doesn't work that way. So you don't know with whom to go with whom to ask for. And more so today, when a dharma is there, vyutthanama dharmas, people are not aware that moksha is by knowledge. There are so many paths to moksha. Paths. Paths, you know, the paths. <laughs> there are so many paths to moksha. They say that, you know, all kind of, it is like Walmart. And somebody telling something and people are following all kinds of things, then there is every chance that this Mukshutvam fellow is gullible, may get into some wrong person, wrong tradition. And in his or her sincerity, the fellow is sincere, they will invest themselves. And once they start investing themselves, Later on, because of emotional commitment, emotional investment, it is very, very difficult to get him or her out. You can't get them out. They feel hurt. Why you told like this about my guru? What? My guru? Even if you just insist that you should attend classes, they are so hurt. 
Why should you tell these classes? I'm doing good work. Chabi <laughs> karo. What do you say to them? All subjective values and that emotional investment in one's own goals and one's own ideals, you are incapacitated to listen objectively. There are so much of subjectivity within that you can't take the words as it is. A fellow gets hurt and insists this is the right path. I feel so. It is only Ishwar Krupa. Mahapurusha Samshraya is just a grace of the God. And why it is Samshraya? You know, because Samshraya means Guru who takes the seekers in his wings. Matlab, ready with teaching and ready to support that person. Guru Kulvasa. And Shastra Dhyanam is taking place. Nothing other than grace. You look at your own life. What you know today about moksha, you knew nothing on the first day. In between, I went to this Sanskriti Sangha and blah, blah, blah. You know, one to Shibir and this, that. And had all fancy ideas. I'll go to this mission and I'll go to this course and that course and blah, blah. I'll go to this camp and that camp. But when you study Shastra here, then you, require, then you feel, oh my God, this, was, this is the thing that I should have been doing. What is the right thing unless the teacher unfolds? Unless the teacher makes the student see the problem and the solution, you just don't know. So it is a grace that you got to have a right teacher. It is a grace that you got to have a right tradition. Just you got it. Otherwise, and, and how did you come is also, each one has a story. I still remember when I was taking classes in Ahmedabad, I met that guy recently, six, eight months ago. He was young, 12th grade or studying in medicine. Did you know me now? Recognize me? Madhya Pradesh was enlarged. <laughs> this was in 86. Now, how do I know? He was not that close also, but he was coming. How do I know okay, he is this? He was very fond of dramas. You know? So, there in Ahmedabad, there is a town hall near Ellis Bridge. So, he used to go and see what are the dramas available. And just 200 meters ago, there is one Gandhi ashram, where Gandhiji first stayed before establishing this ashram called Kocharab ashram. I was taking classes there. And his drama was to start after one and a half hour. He saw some young photo of a young Swami, Gita teaching. Chalo jate. And he came to class and started attending classes. He attended. In like almost two, three years, when I used to go 15 days there and 15 days here, attended all the classes for four or five years. Still, he finished his MB or something, or MBBS. Now, he's a president of Gynecologist Association of Ahmedabad. <laughs> but he attended. I have met nth number of people. How they come came to Swamiji, each one has a story. And you can see that this should not bring them here. But somehow they get it. Like Swami Chinmanji, if you see that story, altogether different story. <laughs> he, he, he was almost atheist. And then came to Shivananji and somehow connected Tar Tara ta, Tapo and Mara. Each one has a story. So this happens only with the grace. Not otherwise. You are led to something which is the path for moksha. Unknowingly. And Guru is the one who is free, who is a muktaha. And can give mukti. 
and can support the person till mukti by showing him shedding off all the notions all ideas and making him commit to shastra and vision of it it's a rare thing unless this is like that catch 22 as they call it because unless you come across a good teacher you don't know he is a good teacher but after you come across a good right teacher i came to know this this kind of teacher are the right teacher then you don't need to search already you have one <laughs> then why should you lose so that connection happens only with a grace ishwar kupa durlabham trayame vaitat manushyatvam mumukshutvam that prioritizing that spark doesn't happen so many people come and listen some just get little click down this is the thing i want and the some are little that fellow is like a dry wood and these are all wet woods you know bej bo lakdi hai to you keep on lighting wo chalta hi nahi and now people are some you know some things you just need common sense but common sense is there with everybody but people don't want to use it they think when i'll go to heaven indra will need it so i have to advise him <laughs> in a public function when i go they put the lamp outside now there is a windy thing correct and sometimes they make the wick so thick so you have to hold the candle like this for five and people are waiting to clap now swami ji will inaugurate they are waiting and you are also waiting are yaar chal ja to thali hum nikle seat pe jaye simple thing is you should put some camphor uske upar ek camphor tablet rakh do then it lights up finish and when it is outside especially you should put it it happened on yoga day i had gone to six seven fellows you know six seven institution then formal great swami is coming formal har garland and mala and shawl and all that i said let's finish this you take my blessing i have to go <laughs> different schools and different places you know so many this time was one was less every year i go to chartered accountant association also so every time and transport time and all that they had a lamp bounce like our lawn you know the ashram is a lawn they they also lamp bounce i lighted the lamp by the time it got over lamp got extinguished <laughs> because of the wind <laughs> you put some camphor so it will stay <laughs> that thinking is missing and i have been telling nth number of people can do this just use little keep it uh, uh, we cases little less thicker so it lights up and then put two wicks together then become big and it will stay it doesn't want and anyway, coming back to this this is ishwar anugraha only you get a right teacher that's a grace how when how what for the grace you got janmo janmantar punya fructified as a grace durlabham trayame vaitat manushyatvam mumukshutvam mahapurusha samshaya samshaya means you become ashrita not contact so some people come in contact that fire doesn't happen nothing attends classes for 15 days and goes to business abhi kya bolna in and every day comes and tells me swami ji is it really something huh? i have to attend i have to attend and suddenly disappears <laughs> that <laughs> I, i they don't even inform me that i'll not be coming grace that they give you ashraya and you hold on to us it doesn't happen 
So this is a grace. We'll see a little more because next sloka is also there. Om Purnamadav Purnamidham Purnamad Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Namhevava Shishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om